everyone, welcome to today's video. I am currently driving to Walmart. So if I'm not looking at the camera, that's why. So haven't filmed in a little while. I'll make a video all about updates, things that are changing, that kind of stuff later. But I live in a very small town in Midwest Indiana and we have a few grocery stores and then we have a regular, not smart, fancy, what's the word? Super Walmart. And I've not been there since the pandemic buying, panic buying stuff has started. So I wanted to bring you guys with me to see how bad it's bad it is. I do need to get a couple things. I need to get cat food, garbage bags, and cotton balls. And I want to see if they have any toilet paper, hand sanitizer, hand soap, stuff like that. So I decided I'd bring you guys with me. Um, I'm, you know, getting a, kind of afraid of this whole coronavirus thing. The town I live in here in Indiana, they're full of a lot of people who are like, oh, this is just a common cold. We don't have to practice the social distancing, anything like that. And in reality, I still see a ton of kids walking the streets, hanging out, all that stuff. And the schools here in Indiana have been closed until May 1st. So the government's kind of starting to take it seriously, but the people here in Indiana, or at least in my town in Indiana, aren't. So it's kind of worrying me a little bit. The county I live in, we don't have any cases of COVID just yet. We are fairly close to a county that has two cases and both of those people worked in a factory with a lot of other people. So I'm sure we're gonna start seeing a lot of, you know, increase in the COVID cases coming around. So anyway, long story short, I have pulled up to Walmart and the parking lot is just as packed as I thought it would be. So this is going to be a fun time. Um, yeah, I'm not looking forward to any of this. I have not been trying to go out in public. I do still work part-time at the grocery store, so I still have to go out, um, but I've been trying not to. Uh, I lied, the parking lot's not as full as I thought it would be. The grocery store, which is across the way, isn't as full either, so it might not be too bad. I don't know, time will tell. Baby needs stuff. Best stuff. cold and pain meds. I saw an article going around about ibuprofen and it looks like most of that is left while most of the Tylenol is gone. Luckily it looks like they still have plenty of pet supplies. So, cat food for Tater. This was the toilet paper aisle. 
I do have tissues. Water. Easter stuff though. Still have a lot of feminine products. Okay guys, so I'm back from being in Walmart. Um, I got a lot of clips of some of the stuff that are sh like out or they're running short of, but I did get one clip in particular when I was trying to show what kind of lotions were out because I really needed the lotion and they didn't have mine. Um, two of the Walmart employees started talking about the apocalypse and where they would hide if World War Z like happened which is crazy to me and also the Walmart employees were beyond rude which I know they're going through a lot of stress right now with all of the COVID stuff going around but I could not believe how rude they were which granted my Walmart does not have the friendliest of employees but still that was unbelievably rude kind of notification um, but yeah, I got some things I needed, some things I didn't necessarily need, but I wanted. Um, but yeah, so they didn't have any hand sanitizer. They had such a limited variety of hand soap. And I got one bottle that said antibacterial. I don't know. We just need more hand soap. We're going through ours like crazy. Um, got my, I got a box of tissues to need them, but you know, if I get a runny nose anytime soon, I want to blow my nose on something other than my limited toilet paper, which they didn't have any. Um, I do want to note that before I get into my car, I do spray down my car keys, my hand sanitizer, and my phone with disinfectant spray. This is stuff I already had. I'm very clean when it comes to my bathroom, and I've had this for a while, but it's just a seventh generation disinfectant spray. It says it kills 99.999% .99 of bacteria and viruses, but I only use this as like a temporary thing. I'll spray down my phone, I'll spray down my keys, and my hand sanitizer, and then I'll sanitize my hands. Um, just so I don't bring anything into my car and because I got a bag of Reese's eggs and I really want to eat one but yeah so that was my experience shopping in Walmart um, during this kind of apocalyptic kind of thing so if you guys like this video um, give me a thumbs up and I will try to show you some more of what's going around in my town during this COVID thing and talk about the changes that are taking place in my life amidst all of this craziness. Um, but that's all I have for you guys today. I will see you next time. Bye.